the operating system multitasks the first party code that we write. So browser web pages load in the background. Our first party music experience plays in the background. But when the user runs a third party app and navigates away from it, the approach that we take is to stop the app and hibernate it so that the app doesn't, in the background, consume the battery life. And there's this delicate balance you have in trying to architect the operating system with third-party code that you don't know anything about and whether it makes the battery run well or not. In this update release, we're going to enable third-party multitasking, but in a way that tries to optimize for keeping the user's battery life. And I want to show you some of the ways that the multitasking makes the user experience better. So I'm going to run this app. This is called Rise of Glory. Uh, it's a, a World War I flying ace game, 3D game that uses the accelerometer. So I'm going to start this up, and here I am flying the Red Baron's plane. You know, you can see I can bank around, and people are going to be shooting at me, and it's hard for me to actually play this while I'm explaining. But imagine that, you know, here I am playing this game, and I decide I need to make a phone call or do something else on my phone. I press the start button. The game is obviously I navigate away from the game. Now I'm going to navigate around my phone and do something else. And I'm going to push the back button to go back to the game. Today on Windows Phone 7, what we do is we hibernate that game. So it's effectively shut down from the perspective of the system. And when we go press the back button, we're going to ask it to wake back up and we're going to start it back up. Depending on the app, usually, typically, that takes three or four seconds. In the case of some large games, it might take 10 seconds. With the multitasking support, we have fast app resume. So watch here, I'm going to press the back button. Here we go. Back, and voila, I'm right back in the game. And the game politely puts me at a pause screen so I can press the continue button and get on with my flying. It really is pretty much instantaneous. Um, so here I am, I'm going to do it again to show you. Here I am flying my plane, trying to avoid getting shot down. I'll press the start button. I've navigated away. I'm going to do something else. And then I'm going to press the back button and watch how fast the game is there. Here we go. Back and boom, the game is ready. I'll press the continue button and I'm flying again. So that's the first benefit, is enabling people to instantly switch between these third-party apps without waiting even a few seconds. Um, the next thing that we've done, because we now have that, we think in some cases users are going to switch between apps a lot more than they would in other circumstances. So we added a new visual UI for task switching. So I'm going to press and hold the back button just in the nick of time. And uh, you can see here that we set up this phone to have a number of apps in the background. There's Groupon, here's another game, Fruit Ninja, here's uh, my email. So if I want to go back and play Fruit Ninja, I'll go back here and it's on the pause menu. You see it instantaneously comes back and now I'm killing fruit. So here we go, you know, hack and slash a couple more. I'll press and hold the back button, boom. We go back into our task switching view and I'll switch back here to Rise of Glory and press continue, and I'm probably going to get shot down. No, I've managed to avoid that. So you get, you get the sense for how much and how easily people can switch between these things. So that's fast app resume and new task switching. 